Hello friends, welcome to today's video, whichever day I'm posting it. <laughs> Um, I have some new molds this week, uh, as I mentioned in, I want to say Tuesdays or Thursdays, I don't, one of the, one of the days last week, um, my housemate, Laura, got me some new molds for Mother's Day, um, which was a big surprise and I'm super excited about them. So, um, going to be a new mold today and a new mold next time or previous time whichever day anyway um <laughs> one of the mold sets that she got me was from let's resin and it is a box for the large tarot cards that i love and it's funny because this is the card that came in uh this set of molds and as you can see it has nothing to do with the box so we will toss that aside and try and figure this out ourselves so um, one thing that I know from watching other people who have used these molds is that it comes with wooden supports so that the sides of the mold aren't you know flopping out from the weight of the resin so Let's go ahead and um, put these together. I believe they're relatively simple. Question is which one is for which. I think this is probably for that one because it's smaller. Okay. And um, I'm only going to do this on camera the first time just so that if any of you get this mold and are curious about how you put these together, uh, you know you can see it but it's really super easy you're basically I don't even know if you can see that but you're basically just putting the pieces of wood together right at the slots and there you go so now we're gonna put our mold in there and it sits perfectly right in there and it keeps it nice and sturdy so let's go ahead and do the second one real quick Yeah, this is easy to put together. It's it's not rocket science, so you guys probably didn't even need me to do this on camera. But just in case, I always want to try and be as helpful as I can when I'm trying new things. Okay. There's some extra wood on this one, which is fine. Just push that in. There we go. Actually, let's do that off of the mold so we don't get that extra wood in there. Okay. So, this one is put together now. We can go ahead and place this mold in. Um, also, if you ever get new molds and you're not quite sure how to use them, I highly suggest going on Amazon um, and looking up the mold and then looking at the reviews because I know that I do this um, as well, but a lot of crafters who have used molds and such will go on to Amazon and add pictures or um, videos or information about how to use the mold. So if you're ever curious about how to use a mold, definitely check out Amazon reviews because they have been a lifesaver for me. So anyway, um, as far as what colors I'm planning to do this box in, I'm not quite sure. I have two sets of the large tarot cards. One of them uh, has different mica powders on it and I believe the other one is just black with um, glitter if I'm not mistaken so I'm not really sure what to do as far as colors here I'm I'm almost thinking that I want to do just straight black with glitter 
which is kind of funny because the other video I have this week is also going to be black, but not glittered. So it's, it's a new mold week and it's an all black week apparently for me. But anyway, let's go ahead and get our resin mixed up, get it poured in. Um, let's see how this turns out. I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited to see how it works. So with that being said, let's get it started. It's bonus unmolding time. Yeah. Bonus unmolding. This is the last of the pink glitter. <laughs> I promise. Um, I just pulled this out randomly because I was like, mm, I still have a little bit left. Let's see what we can make. So we've got a cute little snowflake ornament. Very nice. Very nice. And I had some black left, so I went ahead and made one of these little these little trays here. Um, I have plans for this tray, by the way. So you will see it again. Oh, it's got a big bubble in it. See, I tried to get all of the bubbles out of this one as well. But sometimes bubbles are inevitable and you just can't help it, you know. You can, you can fight the bubbles all you want, but sometimes they're just going to be there no matter what you do. Alright. So I do have plans for this tray since it's just a simple black tray. I'm going to put something on the inside. Um, but that is for a future video, okay? So yeah, that is today's bonus unmolding. All right, friends, so these are cured. Um, 
I will go ahead and mention before unmolding, I am going to have some bubbles in these corners. Um, I filled it up, filled them up probably a little too much before recognizing that, duh, Megan, uh, bubbles are going to get trapped in the corners. And so I spent probably a good 10 to 15 minutes trying to dig the bubbles out with a long stick and it just, it would not, it would not work. And this baby is clinging tight to this. Wow. Okay. Oh, there we go. Just need to get it started apparently. So, now I mentioned in the intro that these are made specifically for the large tarot cards, but, I mean, it's a box, so you don't have to use it for that. You can use it for whatever you want, really. Oh, almost smacked myself in the face with that. Okay, getting a little aggressive this morning, Megan. I also wonder if maybe I put too much resin in. The bottom looks a little uh, like extra to me. Let me just put this back in its shape. It's gorgeous. What do you guys think? I think it. I think it looks very, very pretty. Um, like I said, lots of big bubbles on the back. Um, especially in the corners because that's where bubbles get trapped and I'm an idiot. I've only been doing this for like a year and a half, so I am by no means a professional and I've never <clears throat> claimed to be a professional either. <laughs> I'm a fledgling idiot most days, so let's see. Yeah, I do kind of think that maybe I filled them up too much. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google these and and look at some of the Amazon reviews and see like how other people's versions of them look, like if they're filled up as much as mine is. But here's the other one, and. Yeah, it just slides together like that. I mean, it doesn't have to slide, but for some reason there's a little lip here. So, I guess, it, yeah. So, it's a very nice box. Um, it's good and sturdy. And let's see what it looks like with the tarot cards in it. So, this is one, two, three, four, five tarot cards. Nice. And then, let's see how many more we can put in. So here's three. Okay, it fits three. Can it fit the other five? Or is that going to be too tall? That is too tall. So it does not fit the entire um, large tarot collection. Um, so let's just take out one and see what that does. Okay, so it does fit nine out of the ten. But like I said, this is just a box. You guys can put anything you want into it, you know. Um, it's just marketed as a box for these tarot cards. Hell, you could put actual, um, you know, paper or cardstock tarot cards into this box. You really could, you know. You could put anything in it. Um, anyway, that is today's video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel, helps me to grow. Also, if you are new and you enjoy stuff like this, um, stick around by clicking the red subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Take care.